Chronicles. What we have today is a quick little discussion of um, loading a top feeding rifle, one that doesn't have a magazine on it. So uh, what I'm going to do in the next few uh, minutes here is going to go over the uh, reloading, the loading process of this gun, and I'm going to stumble around a little bit because you know it's. Uh, uh, you'll notice that I've spent a little, quite a bit of time on getting the cases level in the magazine and uh, it may not be immediately apparent why I'm uh, uh, fixated on that aspect of it but uh, hopefully we'll make it clear I'll just cut into the video at some point and kind of clarify it a little, little bit and uh, I think you'll find this useful it's sort of basic stuff for probably a lot of people but I think there's some some shooters uh, out there with a gun like this feeds from the top, but they do actually have difficulties uh, getting these uh, rifles like this to uh, get loaded properly without jamming because they'll get it partly loaded and uh, and then they try to slide the bolt over top of a loaded magazine and things get caught. So this video is really more focused at putting a bunch of rounds in your magazine and then trying to push the very last one down and closing the bolt right, so that you have an empty chamber or if you have a, a round that you want to have already in the chamber so that way you can have one round in the chamber ready to go with your safety on and you can have your magazine full right to full capacity. Now in order to do that you have to put all your rounds into the magazine, push the last one down so that your bolt can clear the top round and close up on the round that you've manually placed in your chamber already. This is exactly where people will get hogtied uh, if they're not experienced with these kind of guns. I've seen it happen and uh, uh, that is why I'm going to focus on making sure that cartridge is all the way to the rear and level so that the bolt can get past it. Because just if you put the cartridge in a little too far ahead, the tip of the bullet is going to catch on the end of the interior magazine. And as the bolt closes, you'll get it over top of the rear part of the, the case head. But as you go ahead, the front of the of the, the point of the bullet is hung up on over top of the edge of the front of the interior magazine and then you get a wedge. Now you can't close your bolt. And then you have to pull the bolt back and the cartridge is stuck in there and you got to work with it and push it back. So if you'll bear with me, it's going to be a little bit clumsy, but I'll uh, try to get this, this across to you as clearly as I can. Okay, we're going to start off with some dummy cases and take show how to begin loading a, a top loading magazine this is one uh, rifle that doesn't have a box magazine so you have to load it from the top now the basic principle when it comes to uh, guns like this is you have to stagger the cases in Hopefully you can kind of see that. When I put in this first one, what I'm going to do, I'll maybe push it in from this side here. If you, if you check this out, I'm going to push the first one this way. I'm going to emphasize that, that to begin with, that, that you don't push it down just because it can go down. You got to push, put that seat, that case all the way back. And then once you have it all the way back, it's going to go into the magazine in a staggered position. One will go here, one will go there. And then the next one goes there, and the next one goes there. They kind of stack in a zigzag pattern up and down. So start off with the first one and push it in going this way against the outside of the gun with a case 
pressed all the way back and feel a click there. You can hear it, click there. So the next time, next case we're gonna take, we're gonna put that in there. And again, careful not to put the case ahead because you could have it just even a little bit ahead and you could push it down, but it will go in and the nose of the case will rest on the, on the front here, right over here, and the thing will go in cock cockeyed. So get it all the way back and you press it, press it down. Okay, so I'll do that from this side here until it clicks. And you, even after it clicks, you can kind of give it a little, a little push back. That's nothing wrong with that. Just make sure it's always flush with the very back of the magazine. And I'll take the next case. And that one is going to go slide all the way to the back. Push it down until it clicks. Now this, this magazine for this gun, this is a Winchester uh, model 600, 670. It's a 243. It can hold up to four cartridges in the in the magazine, and I've got three of them in there already. Now this last one, I'm going to kind of go show you something here. This last one, normally you could just take this and push it down. Now this one's going to the to the outside of the gun. So they're staggering this way and that as they're going up. I've got that fourth one in. And what I could do now is I could move the bolt ahead on this gun. So again, let me reiterate that at this portion of the video, I'm pushing the, the, the wanting to get that cartridge to settle in level down into the magazine without the tip of the bullet hanging up on the end of the magazine because if I were wanting to close the bolt over top of that cartridge having pushed it down then it will seem like I've succeeded because I got the base of the of the bullet the head of the bullet down and to clear the bolt so it can move ahead but the fact that the point of the bullet is over the edge of the front of the magazine is going to cause it to eventually the bolt to eventually jam into the case halfway through because once it gets to a certain point the tip of the bullet can no longer go down and your bolt can't travel ahead so that's going to prevent you from closing the bolt and if you have a live round in your chamber already and you're filling up your magazine to leave a live round in there now you're then you'll be stuck so let's proceed from there the head of the case is right against the bolt, right? So, but it's not right below the belt bolt. Okay, you can see here now that that fourth case cartridge is in the magazine. That's its maximum capacity. And you can see that right there, that's the bolt. And there's the case. A case, the rim of it is sticking up just a little bit so that if you move the bolt, it's going to take the case with it, the cartridge with it. And it's going to slide that case right into the chamber. This is where a lot of the misunderstanding comes with, with these guns. Because what you can do, if you really want to, I've got a fifth cartridge here. I could load this gun up so that I have one in the chamber and four in the magazine. Get the maximum capacity out of this gun. And you might think, well, okay, so I'll just put one in there, in the chamber, like this, right? Um, I could do that, right? I've slid that new case right into the, into the chamber. It's, you can't see it now, but it's up ahead there. But if I was to now go and start closing the bolt, what it's going to do is it's going to start pushing this case here. It's going to start pushing it, and it'll... It's going to pick it up on the rim because that case is sticking up a little bit. But I can remedy that. So I'm going to push down on the ass end of this case. I can do that from either side. As long as I can get that bolt. To, you don't have to push it down much. See, I just, 
as long as the, the rear of the cartridge is all the way back and the nose doesn't ride up on the end of the on the end of the magazine, as soon as I've got the bolt over the back, especially if I hold the case in place and I'm getting the bolt past that hole in it, eh? it's a dummy case. But once I've got that cartridge, the bolt sliding over the head of the case, I can just keep on moving it ahead now. And I can lock it down and put this gun on safety. And now I'm sitting with a gun that has five rounds in it. I've got one in the chamber and I've got four in the magazine. Uh, it's a little bit difficult for uh, uh, novice sh shooters to do. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to load the gun. So if you want to do it uh, quick, I would suggest just just put four cartridges in the magazine and close the bolt if that's the capacity of that magazine. But other than that, this is if you, you can get five in there and it's perfectly functional, you can see that uh, I can take this and all these cartridges are going to go in there just fine. Nothing to it, right? And that's basically how you're going to unload it. Well, I hope you like this last video. It's, uh, I've stumbled around a little bit. Um, it's maybe not the best video I've made, but, you know, I think it's uh, one of those simple ones that I just wanted to get out there to resolve a potential problem that some shooters may have. I'm really uh, interested in addressing problems that uh, shooters might have, something that's useful to you. So, uh, there's many of you who this is not a problem for. And box magazines and rifles are very popular. They get less and less uh, common for a rifle to have a top loading magazine. But for those of you guys who have one, if you're struggling with that sort of a scenario or have been caught that way in the past and frustrated, hopefully this video helps you out. And if, you're, if you don't have a gun like this and you get one in the future or somebody hands you theirs, then at least have some idea of what to do. So for the weight of Native Chronicles, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, God bless.